Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 Pro reviews custom ROM reviews and Android version is 14 you guys can see here and 8.0.2 Turon is the evolution X version and security patch you can see latest November 1 2023 baseband version you can also see the kernel used here is 4.14.190 UOX KSU kernel has been used its build date is November 17 build maintainer you can read here build date is November 16 this is the available latest build I am using this particular ROM from last one week now it's quite very good now uh, the experience of the UA is really really good I will be sharing my experience with this particular ROM and I am using this device as my daily driver as you can see all payment applications and everything is working fine here everything will be explained in this video stay tuned till the end of the video i will be explaining in detail of each aspects and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like uh, starting with uh, this particular rom you get this kind of quick settings panel little bit of customization as you can see the brightness blur you can customize like this i'll show within a while and all these icons have some uh, as you can see yeah some kind of animations apart from this dark mode because it will get closed anyhow we'll show some of them as you can see bluetooth will get some animations even flashlight as you can see these are the cool animations have been there from android 13 but it's well optimized in android 14 you can also get app active status from here you can also directly boot them power menu from here you will get advanced restart button i disabled that and also you get settings directly from here this is how the settings panel looks like it's very very smooth guys once you flash this rom you'll immediately notice that the evolver you get themes monet settings again accent color you can select from here if you want you can do that background color also you can enable and select the favorite color luminance chroma factor tint background you can enable or disable from here dark theme again you get option to make it completely back i kept vivid here if you want you can do grayscale or anything like that once i change from light to dark theme it's getting uh, system ui rebooted here but anyhow it's not a problem headline body font again you get plenty here i kept google sans medium icon pack again you get plenty wi-fi icon style I can shape you can customize brightness slider style this is the one i was speaking earlier if i change it to filled again you can see now it will be different as you can see filled this is how it looks and thin just a line will be given as you can see that's how it is and i can this it's getting system you are getting close anyhow this how icon looks but my personal favorite is bank keep it the same if you like it and if you like the video give it a like guys and brightness slider style i also shown navigation bar style if you want to use traditional navigation bar apart from this gesture that you can choose from here signal icon style also you can customize and even the data icon style but this is the customization in themes status bar again clock style clock and date you get plenty of options here to status bar logo you can position them left or right and styles you can give it whatever you want a network traffic monitor you get all the options you can see on the screen battery style and battery percentage you can customize them battery style you get plenty of options as you can see and battery bar once you enable that you get again plenty of options here to notification count bluetooth battery status mic and camera privacy other things you can see on the screen notification again you get these kind of customization here quick settings again these all the customization you get animation style and other things you can customize them quick settings i already shown power menu advanced restart button if you want you can enable or disable from here gestures again into system gesture you get one handed mode three fingers swipe to screenshot double tap press and hold power button navigation mode into the gesture navigation there is an option to increase both the pill length and pill radius which is quite interesting in my opinion that should be there in this kind of custom roms again lock screen you get plenty of customization here to buttons you can map them using these settings animations nothing new miscellaneous you get both the option to increase high fps count and even the unlimited photo storage haven't played games guys but i would 
experience good gameplay here if i flash uh, sorry if i install bgm but i have no interest to play that particular game and this is the battery settings thermal profiles has been given battery usage you can see the battery life is quite interesting here i am been using this from last week guys the battery life is quite interesting i use plenty of apps here as you can see what not every app is constraining good battery life here not bad either battery saver again you get this kind of battery saver options not extreme battery saver is available battery optimization is given battery temperature and battery widget you can directly add from here again sound and vibration you get plenty of options here too you get a vibration pattern and vibration and haptics individually you can select the intensity completely you can turn it off from here too patterns as i said before you can get those things and me sound enhancer is given enable high phase audio system is given preset type and headset style also you can select and clear speaker option is also given here in the sound settings in the display settings again adaptive brightness is given extra dim features you can select the intensity and you can even add the shortcut from here on after device restarts also you can schedule them out dark theme as i said before you get plenty of options here too in the pitch black condition as you can see just enable them you can utilize them as a pitch black condition display size and text it will revert back to accessibility we'll explain very soon night light again you get intensity and you can also schedule them live display is given color calibration you get rgb strength adjustment but not the contract saturation level adjustment minimum maximum refresh rate low power refresh rate kept to 120 and 60 respectively pocket mode is given screen saver is given tap to wake and we can plug full screen apps if certain app is not playing in full screen you can enable them to play in a full screen refresh rate profiles has been also include this all the display settings again wallpaper and style if i go into clock style as you can see let me show the lock screen styles as you can see this is the plenty given this is an actual android 14 feature visually you only see this particular feature only guys clock style you can see again you can select the size of it dynamic or small if you want you can enable or disable between those two and if i go into more wallpapers you get ai wallpaper something like this uh marbles wallpaper haven't installed here but emoji workshop you can individually create the emoji wallpaper from here shortcuts again you get plenty here uh, show notifications on the low screen and more lock screen options you get these kind of options in this particular rom home screen again you can select from here upgrade it's given up to 5 into 5 from 2 into 2 themed icons is still in beta this is the wallpaper and style selection and accessibility menu you get select to speak utilize them talk back again you get these kind of options display size and text as i said before you can increase or decrease the font size and display size even you can enable or disable the bold text and high contrast text. if you forget everything select here reset settings color and motion again these things have been given magnification is also given accessibility menu which is a handy feature without actually touching this physical buttons you can actually increase or decrease the volume from here let me go here yeah as you can see increase or decrease volume even without sliding down the brightness slider you can increase or decrease the brightness slider too yeah let me turn it off timing controls has been given here system controls and the vibration and haptics again you get these kind of options here too live caption if want you can enable that you get plenty of options to caption preferences audio description is given flash notifications adjustment audio adjustment left and right i mean stereo adjustment you can do it from here these are the things you need to consider once you flash the rom you get fingerprint unlock here not a face unlock i already shown the fingerprint unlock many times in this video you can check out from beginning and it's how accurate and fast here to unlock your smartphone using fingerprint unlock again into system if i go into gestures navigation bar into gesture navigation you get both the option to increase pill length and radius that's quite interesting in this particular if you want to revert back to three button two button navigation bar you can do that double tap to check the phone swipe to three finger screenshot and quick torch you can access them using this gesture options system update option is been given there is even a update but this is the latest one i hope so we'll see if i can find one more update i will make that video too this is how the evolution x guys I, dialer is also given there is a call recording feature but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call and camera yeah i have installed this agc camera you get plenty of options here too we'll show the settings if possible what kind of uh, agc 
uh, this is the AGC camera I am been using and there is a pre-installed Mio camera with Leica integration which will give you better output I have taken some videos if I can I can show you that yeah as you can see the videos are quite fast I mean the stabilization is not going to work in 4k 30 anyhow this how it is we'll be showing some benchmark is 1026 is the geekbench single score and geekbench 6 multi score is 2782 again the kernel user is linux 4.14.190 evo x ksu kernel has been used here and this is the cpu throttling test results 248 is the maximum and uh, average is 214 and minimum is 180 million jps and it's throttled to 77 percent of its max performance and this is 103 test guys there is no red lines but it's quite good it's not 90 percent or anything like that but this how the scores what i got in this particular rom which is quite good bgmi is going to go be perform well in this rom if you have any specific questions in this particular rom you can ask me in the uh, comment section also there is a separate whatsapp group for poco x3 pro i recommend you to join that group and that's it guys in this video i definitely recommend this uh, rom as a daily driver and if you have updates also you can update them but i recommend to clean flash them using recovery method and format data method uh, i will be giving the link to the description how to flash the custom rom in this poco x3 pro check out description there is a dedicated group of whatsapp for poco x3 pro it will be useful once you join that i hope i explained everything in this video if you have any specific questions you can ask me in the comment section below thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now